Hey, what's going on everybody? We are back here at Memorial Park Cemetery in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We were here not too long ago visiting the grave of Sam Kennison, which to me is a, uh, a legend in the comedy world. I know everybody has their opinions and that one's mine with him. And today we're here to visit another uh, a legend of entertainment, country music to me, that's Roy Clark. Now to me, growing up, Roy Clark was a uh, hee-haw, right? But as we'll hear and see, he was just, he was more than just that. I mean, once you get, once we start, re like, once I start talking about his life and all that stuff, you'll see that there was a lot more going on than just Hee Haw, but Hee Haw was really, that's where he, uh, he made his name, I guess you could say, or at least with my generation. Um, so let me get my ad out of the way. Oh, I, I wanted to come here first before I forget because of the this World War I memorial. I mean, how cool is that? Like, it, there's one of those on all four sides, and it's really neat. Like, I, I enjoy the World War I monuments because, you know, it was supposed to be the war to end all wars, right? So, let me get my ad out of the way and say if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all those things. And if this isn't your first time here, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the video as well. Shouts out to the members. Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, I, I think you'll be surprised to hear some of the stuff about Roy. I know I was as I was getting the, the stuff together to read. We'll walk around, we'll look at some of the other stuff, the other monuments and the other graves and stuff that I didn't show with Sam. And uh, then we'll go visit Roy's grave, pay respects and do all that stuff, okay? So let's get this camera turned around and let's get to walking and talking. Clark was born April 15th, 1933 in Marin, Virginia. He spent his childhood in Marin and New York City where his father moved the family to take jobs during the Great Depression. Clark's father was a semi-professional musician who played banjo, fiddle, and guitar, and his mother played piano. The first musical instrument Clark ever played was a four-string cigar box with a ukulele neck attached to it. His father taught Clark to play guitar when Roy was 14, and soon Clark was playing the banjo, guitar, and the mandolin. He said, guitar was my real love, though. I never copied anyone, but I was certainly influenced by them, especially George Barnes. As for his banjo style, Clark said in 1985, when I started playing, you didn't have many choices to follow, and Earl Scruggs was both of them. He won the National Banjo Championship in 1947 and 48. Clark, however, was very shy, and he turned to humor as a way to get himself through stage fright. And it was not until the mid-60s that he felt really confident enough to perform in public without using humor in his act. Rising country music star Jimmy Dean asked Clark to join his band, the Texas Wildcats. And in 1954, Clark was the lead guitarist and made appearances on Dean's Town and Country Time program. After the show moved to television from radio in 55, Dean, who valued punctuality among musicians in his band, fired Clark for being habitually tardy in 1957. During Jack Parr's temporary absence from The Tonight Show in the early 60s, Jimmy Dean was asked to be the guest host of the program. Dean asked Clark to appear on the late night show as his guest host stint and showcase Clark in two songs. Clark made his solo debut on The Tonight Show in January of 63, and subsequently Clark appeared on The Beverly Hillbillies as a reoccurring character. Well. Actually, too, he played businessman Roy Halsley and Roy's mother, Myrtle. So, in 1969, Roy Clark and Buck Owens debuted as host on the syndicated sketch comedy program Hee Haw, which aired from 1969 to 1997 and propelled Clark to stardom. During his tenure, Clark was a member of the Million Dollar Band and participated in a host of comedy sketches. By the early 70s, Clark had been named Entertainer of the Year three times by the Academy of Country Music and the Country Music Association. The Academy also named him Best Lead Guitar Player and Best Comedy Act, while the CMA named him an International Friendship Ambassador in 76 after Clark toured the Soviet Union. 
I think maybe in time I'll come back and we'll, he'll get his own video, but Leon Russell right here. I really, I really dig the piano. I think that's pretty cool. It says, and when my life is over, remember when we were together, we were alone and I was singing this song for you. Pretty cool, man. It's a good picture too. I really like it. I really like it. And they wore some tight britches back then, didn't they? Whew. April to November. Dang, man. All right. So now we're going to go over to Mr. Acuff's grave and finish up over there. I just wanted to show this off before we got over there. So let's go. So sadly, Mr. Clark passed away on November 15th from uh, pneumonia, which is a bit of a bummer. As I do these, it seems like that, uh, that gets a lot of people. And so here we go. Roy Linwood Clark. It says, together from humble beginnings to legendary entertainer. And you have this at the top. We'll slowly work our way down. And it says, the next chance you get, do something nice for somebody. Say good day, hold a door open. Don't wait around for a thank you. You don't need it. And because of you, that person will go out and do something nice for somebody else. And then that person will go out and do something nice for somebody else. And this whole world can wind up doing nice things for each other. And we can be the ones that start it. It takes all of us working together to get things done. No one does it alone. Only one person did. And I'm not that strong. Let's start it. Here's to love. It's still the best. Roy Clark. Well said, Roy. Well said. Roy Clark. All right, we've got another he haul checked off the list. That's really good. I like his uh, his little words there. That means a lot. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, and by the way, it's uh, Dr. Michael Mayer Clark in memory of our son right there. 51 to 21. So let's see what's on the other side. Is there anything? Nope, it's blank. See, nothing there. So yeah, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I mean, we was here just not too long ago and I told Miss Backroads, I was like, I gotta come back. Can't believe I miss Roy Clark. Like, how could I do that? Like, I gotta check that off the list. And uh, sounds like somebody else is having a bad time somewhere else too. So I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I know, like I say it in every video and that's cause I mean it. And I say that too. Um, it looks like somebody's left him a, a, a Paps Blue Ribbon. I don't think, I would assume that he wasn't too much of a drinker. I don't know. I just, I don't know Roy like that, but I just feel like uh, that probably wasn't his uh, drink of choice. Maybe some sweet tea or something. But yeah, thanks for watching. Man, this, I'm glad we got to come here and do it. And it's because of you guys that you and I get to come do these things. And I'm, I'm really grateful for that. And I want y'all to know that. So let's do our, our little cheesy thing. And, uh, you never know what you'll find on the back roads. I'll see you guys next time. Roy Clark, man, how cool. Dang, he was a good one. I hate that he's gone. We need more people like Mr. Clark. I'll see you guys next time.